Hey friends, how's it going? This is Adam, How To Coffee Pro SCA Training Online. I wanna help you understand and navigate the Specialty Coffee Association. Personally, I have invested, what, six years now understanding the SCA. Back when I started, it was the SCAE, the European Association, before they merged with the SCAA, but that's another story. So, so many of my learners People who are taking my courses are asking, you know, Adam, how do I get certified? Can I get certified online? Um, do I have to travel for courses? What's the difference between a coffee diploma and then becoming a trainer? Do I have to have a coffee diploma to become a trainer? There's lots of questions and it comes from the complexity of the Specialty Coffee Association. So I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it is complex. There are just all of these different layers, but once you start unraveling them, you see that it's actually a really good system that works. It's very, uh, it's very logical, you know? And so if you can start to put this together brick by brick, piece by piece, you'll feel confident how to navigate the SCA. And by understanding it more fully, my goal is to help you get the most out of it. Because what happens when we don't understand something fully, or we don't, understand all the pieces, all the tools in the box, then it's easy just to use uh, part of what we could be using, right? If you don't understand all the tools in your toolbox, you end up trying to use a screwdriver to fix everything when the reality is you should pull out another tool. So the SCA in detail, I, want, I have a few notes here. I'm gonna go big picture on a few items and then we'll go into detail on a few items. So this will be a longer video. Forgive me if you wanna skip ahead. Uh, what we're going to do, number one, we're going to look at the SCA and what it is today, Specialty Coffee Association, because some of the people taking courses at How To Coffee Pro are brand new or they're hobbyists, they're coffee fans. So it's helpful to understand. But two, for maybe for the coffee professionals, you wanna know uh, what is the SCA like today? How do I use it? because there's still a lot of baggage from the American and European associations that we want to understand. So the SCA big picture. Then we're gonna look at the Coffee Skills Program big picture, CSP, Coffee Skills Program. Number three, how to become a AST, authorized SCA trainer. And then we'll go into the details, kind of part one, two, three details how to get your learner ID or your membership, what that is, registering for courses, etc. Two, kind of the diploma requirements and what's the difference between uh, the pathway you carve versus this old pathway method from the AA. And then three on details, the AST level, how to today uh, with this online offline hybrid system, how to get certified intermediate professional, uh, when and how traveling is involved, distance between courses. There's a lot of details we're gonna unpack. We're already three and a half minutes in. And so let's get into this. I've got several notes to try to keep me on track. I would love for you to be able to join a course with SCA uh, training at How To Coffee Pro. So the way the SCA works is, uh, following after the old European system, which is really cool. I like it because I'm very independent. What they do is uh, they have standardized courses and uh, there's the introduction to specialty coffee and then there's three levels underneath it, foundation, intermediate, professional. And so this first course, introduction to specialty coffee covers all five broadly. And then you have foundations, green, roasting, sensory, brewing, barista intermediate green roasting sensory brewing barista, professional green roasting sensory brewing barista. So there's 16 courses that you can take. You don't have to take them all, but you can take them all, 16 different courses. Now, the SCAE had always just had this kind of framework for the courses. And then after a student, a learner went through the courses, got certified to professional level in a course then you can take the final culmination, which is optional, of becoming an AST authorized SCA trainer. That's the acronym. When you take the AST course, 
you start to understand uh, some of the administrative processes. There are more fees that you purchase your training licenses with. There's a back-end office of software and logins so that you can start courses. You can put them on the SCA calendar and then you can invite students in. There's policies that we have to follow and adhere to for good training for our students and following the SCA rules. So in many ways, we're like independent contractors. I had to build all of my courses after I completed that AST training. I had to go out and I had to pull together things from my trainers, things that I had been using with my team and uh, things that I could find from the internet, uh, materials from the syllabus or rather the resources list, the bibliography for the um, courses that I had taken. So I had to build all of these trainings. I had to build these PowerPoints. And for those of you who have been on my YouTube channel, you've seen my old SCAE PowerPoints that I put on YouTube for free. Uh, terribly boring content, but full of rich material because those PowerPoints are what I used to run classes with when I was traveling around China. Um, this was very different than the SCAA. The American Association used to have a uh, fixed curriculum that after you got certified to be their trainer, they would give you the curriculum. Well, that's out of the window. Uh, we've all adopted, the SCA has adopted when they merged the uh, European model. So I, the trainer, have put together these courses for you at How To Coffee Pro so that you can get certified. So that's big picture there. Uh, the coffee skills program is what they call uh, those courses. Now, the SCA has other courses. You'll find uh, sustainability, some in uh, the technical guilds, but these are the coffee skills programs, and they're kind of the classic uh, SCA courses. You can get a coffee diploma by taking them, and uh, you have to register with an AST in order to take these courses. So by registering for a course with an AST, the SCA knows, okay, this new learner is going to be taking a course under Adam's guidance using Adam's materials. And then once they have uh, taken this course with Adam at How To Coffee Pro, then he is going to invite them into our system to take our exam. So after you've taken my courses, those online courses, we've had our videos together, you've gone through the exercises, you've done your practice exams, then I open up your course and I move you into the SCA course portal so that you can take their exam. And uh, once you take their exam, pass their exam, I check the boxes about your uh, progress, I write you a learner report, and I pay your certification fee for you because there's an administrative fee, there's a testing fee. They send me an invoice and I pay that on your behalf. Maybe one day you wanna become a trainer. And so this is, this is kind of what you can expect when you become a trainer one day. You're going to be managing a lot of administrative work so that you can move these students through your course curriculum and then into the SCA system to take your cer certified exam and get certified. Once you pass that exam and I pay the fees, then there's a processing uh, delay or time on their side. Usually after 10 to 14 days, you get an email or some kind of a notification that your cert certificates are ready. They're all delivered via online right now, high resolution PDFs that you can print, you can save, you can put on your wall. And whenever I get around to it, then I also give you a nice How To Coffee Pro certificate with all of the courses that you've taken. And uh, I, give you access to logos and various things so that you can build up your personal resume. Many people are trying to uh, stack some certifications, some logos, different things on their LinkedIn profile, uh, maybe on your wall, in your coffee lab, or in your cafe. I want you to have lots of resources so that you can start to get the benefit of being certified and uh, growing in the coffee, Specialty Coffee Association. You're going to have questions and that's okay. Reach out to me, uh, check out the courses in the links below and uh, continue to learn and study around this. There's still more to unpack. I hope this is helpful so far.
after you've taken courses, uh, there's a layout of those 16 courses and how they stack and then the point value, you start to accumulate points. Now, the points were originally created because not everyone had the time or the money to travel to take all the classes to uh, become an AST certified trainer. So if you just were broadly skilled, the Specialty Coffee Association wanted to recognize that and they created a coffee diploma system. The coffee diploma system is where you can acquire 100 points. I give an example here on my website as uh, someone who acquired an AST license without getting a coffee diploma and someone who chose not to become an AST, but they held a coffee diploma. That's because they could carve a different path through that learning. Maybe they're more on the side of coffee roaster. Maybe they're more on the side of barista. Maybe they're someone who loves a broad education. You can pick and choose whatever courses you want. The only requirement as you go through the courses is that you cannot take a professional course until you've taken an intermediate course. However, if you've been in the coffee industry for quite a while, if you've been roasting and as a barista for a long time, you already have great skills, we can discuss and you could jump straight into my intermediate course or another trainer's intermediate course. That's at the trainer's discretion if we know you're ready. We don't wanna put you on a roaster and then see you you know, struggle because you don't have the adequate skills. In that case, it's wise to take the foundation course first and get some experience. After you pass your intermediate course, you need to wait at least three months before taking and passing your professional course. The goal for that is just to spread it out, to continue practice, to continue growing in your skills. Even if you've been roasting coffee for 10 years, you should still uh, take the intermediate roasting course and then wait for at least three months and take the professional course because there is a lot of content. Now at my course, How To Coffee Pro, I'm creating introduction plus professional bundled primers. Now a primer is like a preparatory course. So if you take, for instance, right now, the barista course is almost finished at the time of this recording. If you take the barista intermediate professional course, you'll get all the lectures for intermediate coursework to be able to pass the online exam. All of the lectures then for the professional coursework to pass the professional online exam. You'll also get all of the exercises demonstrated, the activities outlined so that you can practice at home, at your cafe, on your espresso machine. You can start to develop these skills but you need to take those skills and go train with a trainer in person. So I should travel to you, you should travel to me, or you should travel to another training facility nearby. You could take my course as your prep, and then you could jump over to a course if you're in Berlin and Germany, and you could do your intermediate there, confident, pass the first time, because you've already been studying, you've already been practicing. That's how the intermediate professional work. I am preparing to travel and I can travel to your location. We can run a couple courses, especially if you've done the primer courses. I have students who are starting to do the primer courses online. They're practicing, they can get ready and then I'll fly out and we only need to spend a shorter time together because I don't have to sit you there and lecture with PowerPoints. You've already done all of the lecture work online. I don't need to spend a long time developing your practical skills because you've been practicing before class. You come ready to show your skills, ready to ask your final questions, ready to get any of that final instruction, and then to pass with confidence, okay? So that's the new introduction professional workflow. Like I said, you can read below, but you could get 100 points and not uh, become an AST, that's okay. You could become an AST without getting 100 points. Uh, you won't get your coffee diploma, but uh, you'll become like a narrow uh, skilled AST and that's great. Maybe you just wanna be a sensory trainer and you just wanna develop those sensory skills and you wanna do sensory courses because you work in another industry. You don't even, maybe you don't even work in the specialty coffee industry. That's okay. 
but the coffee diploma is for people who end up taking just a lot of courses to accumulate 100 points, and it shows that they are a very broadly skilled coffee professional. I've covered a lot of information here, and I didn't follow my script, but I think it's I think it's mostly there, so I'm not going to redo this. I apologize because my courses are laid out much better than this video was laid out. You can go check out my courses at howtocoffeepro.com or click the links in this description on this page of my website. Hopefully you're seeing this at rock.coffee. Uh, maybe you're seeing this on YouTube and you can follow the links. Maybe I've shared this somewhere else. The SCA is a wonderful organization. It's a wonderful organization that you can join as a learner. You can join it for free. You can begin taking courses for free as a learner. You don't have to buy a membership. That's another thing I'm gonna put in this video, slide in right here. When you go to the SCA Coffee page, www.sca.coffee, or the old SCAE login, which they're still using, which is great, you can get a free learner ID and to begin taking the introduction and the five foundation courses with that learner ID. It'll be an obscure number like LMQ12Z9. Uh, that's the learner ID. Later, if you want to become a member of the SCA, you do need to purchase a membership and you can purchase like a individual barista membership, which I think is the cheapest and it's great for anyone, whether you're a barista or not, just if you're an individual, you can purchase a uh, Roasters membership, which gives you access to some of the Roasters Guild and other professional resources. You can purchase through your company and get several licenses. And there are some discounts there, which is great. That learner ID is something that I need for all of my students who want to get registered. I request they get their learner ID and then give that to me. That's how I register your course. Now, some people come to my courses because they find the SCA calendar where I have registered courses that are continuous rolling admission and they find me there and then I pull them over to How To Coffee Pro so that they can purchase the course, they can study the material, they can do the practice exams and then we issue their course back through the SCA website. So the SCA and How To Coffee Pro, we work together because I'm an authorized trainer, I stand in the middle and I continue to bounce our learners back and forth. Membership. Once you want to take intermediate and professional level courses, the SCA pretty much requires that you get a membership. It'd be foolish not to because the certification fees are much more costly at the intermediate and professional level. Once you move up to the intermediate and professional certified exams, so if you say, Adam, I'm ready, we've done these courses uh, you know, with you, or if you're at another trainer's facility and you do the courses with them, you need to pay that certification fee. Get your membership when you're ready to say, when you say, I know I'm gonna be taking intermediate and professional courses, go ahead and get your membership because it is something you purchase. With your membership, you get other access too. You get discounts from the SCA store, you have discounts or first, uh, first access to online resources, to some of the different forums and seminars that they do, to the World of Coffee and SCA Expo events. There's lots of things that open up. You can be a volunteer at the Expos, which is a great way to get in, uh, low cost or free, if you volunteer at some of the events that are starting to open up again in a post-COVID world. So... That's the difference between learner IDs and membership. You must be a member to be an active AST. You must have a license as well to be an active AST. Uh, you must hold course licenses in each module you wanna teach as an AST. So each two or three years, depending on how I purchase my licenses, I buy all five licenses so that I can train you it gives me access to all of the curriculum, all of the modules, so that all of your courses will be uh, fully broad and rich with content. I hope one day I get the chance to travel and meet you and your team, 
or you have the chance to come out here and travel uh, for trainings that I host. And if not, I'm really happy to recommend you to different trainers that I'm always building relationships with and say, you know what, on this side of the world, it's best if you just want to go over there and uh, get certified with this company. They're doing a great job. I'm really excited for the day when several of my students, I've got a couple different students now who are going all in with the SCA and they want to build a premier campus. They want to build a training facility. So they're training up their team. We're running courses for them online and then they're going to be trainers. So one day I'll have these students who do foundation courses online with me and then I'll be able to pass them to you as an AST in a place where I know you've had great instruction, you've had great support, and hopefully by that time, you feel like you have a team and a cohort of trainers who can support you, including myself, by sharing our resources and sharing our students. I put a note in there that I invested on my website at rock.coffee that I invested a lot into this. And it's because I just have the personality when I do something, I wanna do it right and I wanna do it well. But I knew even more importantly that with this training, I wasn't just getting certified for myself. I wasn't just accumulating these certificates. I've got a stack of them up here. I wasn't just accumulating these certificates to put on my wall. I wanted to give back and I wanted to train. I love working with learners. I don't care if you're at the very beginning and you just like bold, dark roasted coffee, or if you've been in the industry and you know how to roast the finest, anaerobic process or geisha, you know, varieties that you get to harvest. I love investing into you. And that's why I invested so much time and money and travel into my certification. It's time to give back. So welcome to the team. Welcome to How To Coffee Pro. What are you waiting for? Let's get a course started. I've put bundles together. I've made this way cheaper than I spent on my own education. And I hope that you can join the community you can share and give back. This will be a chance where we can continue to grow. Thanks for considering uh, SCA certification with me. If you've got any questions, reach out at any time. I'm not gonna sell you something before I help you out. I'm gonna help you first. And if you find value, then uh, join the newsletter, join the courses, and uh, let's do this. Let's grow together. Thanks, have a great day, and I'll see you in class.